Okay, so this is where we ended last time. So if you followed my source code carefully, this is where we did, this is what we did. We added um, this in the game script as well as added uh, that. Okay, so we'll just run it and see if we're able to to spawn. Right now we've got two stars. We've got one star. Another one should be generated. So we have this one and it's randomly generated. So if I close and run it again, it will spawn somewhere else, right? Okay, so what we now need to do is get rid of this star. Uh, but before I do that, because what we now uh, want to achieve is basically if this comes into contact with that or if this is near this, then we should uh, basically um, detect that that has happened and then make this star disappear and then add a score uh, for the player. All right. So for me to be able to do that, I'm not going to follow the default documentation's way of doing it. I prefer using uh, collisions. So the player will be will be a coral a collider component, specifically a circle collider component. So come to component, collider component, then circle collider. So this is what a circle collider is. Um, this is a basic way in which you can add um, simple collision detection. So I'll reduce the radius and um, let's see 78. Um, we can bring that down to maybe 40. All right, or maybe even 35. 35. So this area here, the circle around the, the star, I mean, around the, the player, is going to be colliding with something else. So in this case, let's go to the star, and we'll also add a circle collider. Okay, so the circle collider there, 66, let's put it at 20. Okay, so if this collider, this circle collider, and this circle collider come into contact, then we will be, then we will be, um, we will be making the star disappear and then adding a score for the player. So I'll save this and then recreate my prefab. So I'll delete this prefab that we created earlier. Okay. And then I'll just create a new one and then update the canvas so that we have the, the prefab that has that component. So here we go. There we go. We'll come back to the start duration um, later on. Okay, so next up, um, we need to come to our project, project settings. And then here we need to define um, Two, two collision bodies basically, the star or the player, that's it, the star or the player. This is, by the way, a simple way of doing collision detection. I think Cocos Creator does a great job at uh, picking up collisions. So you've got default groups, okay? Um, but what we'll do is group zero will be the player and then I'll add an additional group. And then group two will be the star, right? Then I'll save this and then close. Then, in fact, I'll come, come back to the player here and then come down in the node and then make sure that the group player is selected. Then I'll come to the star and then make sure star is selected. It needs to be in the correct uh, group. I'll save this. I, I will also delete this one more time. My bad, I forgot to, to do this earlier on. Then create this prefab one more time. Then let me update this section so that the star prefab um, should also be in the correct in the correct group of star, all right? 
Once that is created, then we can write some collision detection code to see if this and that come into contact. Right now, it's still not doing anything, only, only that, um, yeah, there's nothing that's happening. Even if we move closer, nothing is happening. So we now need to create code that's going to be able to detect that this and this have come into contact. And that's what we'll be doing in the next section. Please subscribe, like the video, comment in there. Um, uh, if you want to uh, support me further, I've got coupon codes for my Cocos Creator Development Essentials course on Udemy um, in the description below. Um, there I explain um, more complex physics uh, using Box 2D if you want to create physics-based 2D games as well as um, create two projects in the process of trying to explain that. Um, so we create two simple games and then I explain a lot of the fundamentals um, that I can't cover in this course. So if you're interested in that, um, there's a link in the description that will have um, um, a coupon code. Um, I will have 50 that will be free, completely free. And then um, if those run out, I will then have an additional link um, for the course at 10.99, which will still be a massive discount from um, the original price. So, yeah, thanks. We'll continue in the next one.